I have a shopping haul to share with you. I purchased some fabric and some shoes. And then I want to share with you the next project that I am planning to make. I'll start out with the fabric. So I purchased this linen turquoise colored fabric from Joanne Fabrics. And I bought this to go with this fabric from Joanne Fabrics. It has kind of the same color in one of the stripes. And these stripes go horizontal. So I think that these two will look pretty nice together. The next fabric I bought is this floral fabric, also from Joanne Fabrics. I have been seeing this fabric for a while and I finally decided to pick it up. So I think I want to make a top out of this. So we will see. And then for the shoes. I like purchasing my shoes from Nordstrom Rack, so I bought these Steve Madden shoes and I thought that they were really cute. I like that they're neutral, so they will go with a lot of different things and I also like the heel on the back. The other pair of shoes that I bought are these. They have the same kind of heel on the back, simple black shoe by Mix Number no. 6. And I like these two, and they're really comfortable. When I tried them on, I was like, okay, they don't hurt. So yes. So I already cut out the pattern for my next sewing make, which is Vogue 9075. This is a very easy Vogue pattern, and it's been out since 2015. I've had it, but I've just never made it. So I decided to go ahead and give it a try. It calls for a zipper in the back, woven fabrics, there are pockets on the side. It has princess seams. And I want to make view B, which is the longer version, and it's a jumpsuit. And there are pleats in the front and the back of the pants. I think those are all the details. Oh, I also want to make view A, the bodice with the short sleeves, and match it up with the pants for view B. So I'm going to you know, mix and match the two. The other thing is I noticed that the neckline is a little high, so I plan to just deepen the cut. As I'm cutting it out, I just want to go down a little bit and I'll probably measure maybe a half an inch down and just cut the front piece a little bit deeper so the neckline won't be so high. I have started sewing. I'm working on the bodice. I decided to use the striped fabric here for the front piece and make the stripes go horizontal. And I lowered the neckline just a little bit. I have all the other pieces over there waiting to be worked on. Here's the bodice with the lining attached. I just finished doing all of the understitching. This is the right side of the bodice, so this will be the front, and then the back is just going to be solid with no stripes. For the inside of the bodice with the lining, I just used some scrap lining that I had left over from another project. So this is what I use for lining. and. This is how the inside of the bodice is going to look. I have the jumpsuit all finished. I am just in the process of hemming it. I am doing a very narrow hem. I'm using this product called Band Roll. I purchased this on Etsy and I believe you can find it on Amazon. I will put a link to some of this so you can click on that if you're interested, but it's very easy to use and it's actually kind of fun. And I will also link a video showing you exactly how to use it, but it really creates a really nice narrow hem. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. So 
So I have the band roll sewn onto the hem. And this is the fun part where you actually pull away the band roll. And then you are left with this very nice baby hem. Just so pretty. So I ended up making four changes to the garment. So I already shared how I lowered the neckline, so that was one change. The other change is that I decided to use an invisible zipper in the back instead of the centered zipper that the pattern called for. I did lengthen the pants legs. On the pattern there is a lengthen and shorten line and I did not use that to lengthen the legs. I just ended up using the pattern piece and just extending the hem portion of the pattern piece to about four inches. The other change that I made was to make the stripes go vertical. The fabric on the bolt had the stripes going in a horizontal direction, but I just flipped the fabric around and decided to cut the pants legs out with the vertical stripes. I did cut out a size six I love that this pattern has pockets and I also really like how wide the legs are and because of that when you are standing still it looks like you actually have on a dress. So before I go I want to leave you with a love share which is a product that I've been using and loving. So one day I was out shopping and I picked up these multi-purpose cloth wipes. And I thought I would give them a try and see how I like them. And I fell in love with them. So I was like, okay, I need to tell you all about these. I actually found these at Home Depot, but they do have them on Amazon. I love these because you can use them wet or dry. But what I really like about them is that you can rinse and reuse them up to 10 times. Normally, if I have a spill or something in my kitchen, I will just wipe it up with a paper towel. I still use my paper towels, but I find that my paper towels last a little bit longer since I started using these. 